I got the 446 here. I figure we would do a comparison. These bellers are 10 years apart, I think. They're nine or 10 years apart, anyways. So let's look at the 330. Um, well, first I'll just kind of walk around it and kind of just give you what the uh, look like okay to the 446 walk around here do, 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 do. Alrighty, the outward appearance, there's not a lot of difference, but there is. Uh, for starters, let's go to right here. If you looky there, the shield comes down further. This one does not. The, let's see, that one's got a brace right there. Does this one? I'm sure this acts as it. So, okay. Uh, this come on these Baylor Standard. Uh, mine did not, but I did add it, so. All right, the next thing is how the door latches. Just a uh, clip pin. This one actually has a latch. Um, so this, once it comes out to here, then you must, well, to, yeah, to here. Then you must pull this out like so. So you can lock the door. On mine, and I got the other one. That door got buckled and it's hard to open. See the little arm there? That's what holds the door open. Now the 446 is way better on that because, see, watch. You can just fly back and, you know, tear up something. Okay, the, the light package. And the, this door is quite a bit bigger than this door. Because as you can tell, it covers all this and this one does not. So the door comes back to here on the 446. Um, the pickups are the same as far as how they function. They both crank. The piece of all thread, basically what it is. See right there, it's all the same. The pickups the same. Um, everything in here is the same. The only difference is the, this one has a few more grease circs. Has them there, over here. Uh, mine does not. Mine is just a bolt that goes, well that's, is that a pin or a bolt? That is a bolt. Okay. Now when I've taken mine off, I've packed them full of grease. Oh, and this tensioner here is different than mine. Mine does not have a spring. Mine's just, it sits basically in a track. You loosen a bolt. And it slides this sprocket. That's not a sprocket. That's an idler wheel, basically. Mine's a sprocket. So, there's the difference. There's the other difference. Um, mine's sprocket there. Um, but everything else is the same. PTO shafts are the same. Down here's the same. Say about the PTO shaft. Mine, I bet you, is 15 pounds heavier than that one. The reason I know that is because I had to take this one off and put on this one when I had to use this baler. Because this one got foobarred from the very end. 
See how that shield got all messed up? Well, you can't slide them together. So I just took mine off and put it on here. And what I did, I was shocked at how much heavier that one is than this one. And they look the same. So, hmm, here's what it is. Um, for some reason, it could be the size of this hydraulic jack that takes the hydraulic tie arm back or across. It may be a little smaller or bigger. Maybe a little, whichever makes it faster. This one is faster than mine as far as tying because on my tractor with the same pulls, it goes to about here and it's done. Now on mine, it kind of hits every one because I just, where I don't see it as well as normal people, um, I basically just pull the lever and turn loose. Pull the lever, turn loose. And this one does two when mine only does one as far as the notches. See, here's the sprocket. Here's the track that it's in. It's just a bolt where you can slide it. There's the sprocket. Um, really no, really no difference. Really no a difference. The locking mechanism I like better on mine because this one just sits in that. And I, I don't know, I just like mine better because it's got a pin that goes through it so I don't have to worry. Now I will edit some of this stuff out so it's not so long of me beating and banging around here. Um, this one has the light package and mine does not. But basically the same. Now this is going to be different. I'll show you here in just a second. See? On the other one it comes straight down. Which I like better because that stupid bottle there uh, wallers all over the place. And it's just it's all basically the same. Uh, indicators are the same. Bell size is the same. Now this was a uh, extra. If you can tell what that is. That was a uh, add-on there. Had to pay extra for that. What has happened? What's going on? Focus. There we go. Uh, this one you crank down 14, 15 times, and this one you gotta crank down 20 times for the uh, pickup. So anyways, that's the difference in a 330 and a 446 that are 10 years apart. Later.